Okay, this one's going to be interesting. It's going to be a dual colour. This time it's in, we're going to make it, yep, it's text. This one's going to be, this one's in yellow and black, which is different. So we're going to do it dif different colours. We've been doing the yellow, black, yellow, cyan and magenta. We're doing red, blue and green. Okay, so that's going to be that. Uh, I don't know, yeah, this one's going to be a 400%, I think. This one's pretty small. Found it, yeah, you'll see, you'll find out what it is. We'll get around to it. Okay. Actually, I'm wondering if we're, yeah, we're going with that. I'm just trying to decide. It's hard to decide with all these features. Anyway, let's just get here. I don't know why that, that's not asleep, because you can't set it with two colour. Isn't that stupid? As soon as you get a clash, and sometimes the buttons don't work. They're asleep when they means it's not an option. But this, oh, fuck you, Konica Minolta. You make a load of shit. I've got no respect for your fucking corporate corporate um, culture and the fucking rich people that have control of the fucking company. What a fucking bunch of assholes you are. You, Mr. Konig and Minolta, at the top in Japan, you're the fucking leader of this fucking worldwide stupid company, this fucking multinational, you fuckwit. You can't make anything good. You're fucking idiot. You're fucking dumb. You know, you fucking half half wit. But anyway, let's see what we got. We got here. We got a sticker. This one is from. This is a Snapchat, I believe. Snapchat sticker. I was thinking of joining Snapchat just a, f a few about a month or so ago, or maybe more. But when I but I had a gut feeling it was the. This is the one where you have the disappearing videos. You watch a video. And it permanently disappears. I don't like that idea. I like videos where you can simply rewind them. Because if you don't actually focus your attention, you're going to miss something and it will be gone before your eyes. I don't like that. I like, And if I really like a video, I want to watch it again. Like on YouTube, like on Facebook. And other platforms where videos are permanent instead of... Ten, instead of ephemeral now that's been blown off the page you're gonna to have to move it but i like the look of the red the setup is quite nice i just have to i think it's too close to it's, too, it's a very big size so we're just going to maybe move it up a bit now we've made the positioning of the sticker on the paper a little bit of a nuisance we haven't actually done a very good job of it <laughs> it's too far away from the edge so let's try again. If we got this positioning right, we got the colours looking good. The red looks good, but I just don't like this ephemeral shit. When you like, when I like something, I want it to last. Just like I wish this fucking photocopier was could last for at least ten years instead of five years, because that's the time when the spare parts uh, run out. So there, we got it positioned nicely, sideways almost. But I'm wondering if we're going to slide it down a bit. But basically, I just hate the way uh, equipment like photocopiers have a, a shelf life, you know, because not actually a shelf life, but a spare parts uh, availability period. And that period is not long enough, in my opinion. So I'm really pissed that companies like Konica and Alta want to make their equipment last a very short time before it's... You have to bloody replace it. Like, I've had to replace my C353 with this. And I had to take out a bank loan. So I'm not happy with Konica Minolta's attitude with parts. I would have liked to have kept my C353 because, fuck it, it would have been more convenient. I had, I'd been out without a working photocopier for, like, nearly two months. And it was just such a pain in the ass not having a fucking... Because... My, my service agreement ended because the company could not... The, Mytronics is the company that supplied me the photocopier, but the, the blame lays fairly and squarely with Konica Minolta, not Mytronics. Mytronics is the name of the company that gave me this and the other machine. 
it lies fair and square with Conica Minolta. If Conica Minolta could have given us an extra two years or three years of spare parts, Mitronics would have kept me on a service agreement because if Mitronics can't guarantee the parts because Conica Minolta doesn't, there's no use me paying the full price of a service agreement. So I was put on a low a low budget time when when the parts ran out last last year in May, almost a year ago. Uh, the machine broke down on, if you want to be really precise, it broke down on uh, February the 17th this year, 2018. And that's when I found out I couldn't, I wasn't on a service agreement, but a do in charge, which means technician comes, you pay 160 just for him to rock up. And basically, I couldn't afford that sort of shit. And then you pay for the, the amount of time he, he spends on the machine and, of course, the spare parts. But if he tries to work on the machine and the parts are not available for that problem, stuffed. I would have wasted a lot of money, so I had to upgrade. Not upgrade, correction, replace. It's called replace. Not upgrade, not update. Different terminology. It's called replace. And that's the stupid fuck of the photocopier industry.